time like everything was so somehow mm -hmm. everywhere do you understand you know the um the case of um, the gaza incident no before i need to start that was like, yes, yes. i was like how are they going to fast in this country mm -hmm. so then i came across a video i mean like is, was it a video or a picture when they said mm -hmm. some families are breaking their fast with um with grass mm -hmm. the fact that we say we are believers does not mean that a lie is not going to process mm -hmm. No. If we look at Palestine, for instance, Palestine is an Islamic country. We all know that. <laughs> we feel like, why should it be an Islamic state? Why should it be that it's Muslim who are they receiving it at that particular point in time? Right? Mm -hmm. It later comes like, even if you say you are a believer, Salah is, Salah is going to test how, how strong you are upon the Iman. Mm -hmm. Another one is, you know, when the Iman was going to, was about to start, they were selling, I mean, a bowl of rice in our. In this kind of in our area, we're just going up. There's two two thousand two hundred, two thousand five hundred. Inflation is so high, so everybody was just shouting like, "This year's Ramadan, there will be food." Yeah, like there will not be other call like we usually have in the masjid, massages. Like, you no, know, there will be free food for everyone in the masjid, and then we still have some radio programs. Oh. So the floor is yours back again. In the previous Ramadan, there. Yeah, there's always food everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who goes to Masjid, there will, there will be fruits, there will be food. And then you see um, radio programs and television programs where you see so many people will be given so many gifts. Mm -hmm. They can ask many simple questions. Like, how do you, how do you do Janaza? How do you do this? How many Raka is, you know, simple questions. Just because it just wants to give people gifts. Mm -hmm. They ask them simple questions. And then they had them to go to certain places. So many people, I mean, so many, a lot of people during the Ramadan, there's usually so many provisions in the house. People who have never even bought provision throughout the year, they have the opportunity of getting those things for free during Ramadan. So when the Ramadan, this year's Ramadan is coming, I mean, it's about to start. We're like, ha, ah, is there going to be any radio program like this? <laughs> is, I mean, uh, people go to distribute something. I I watched certain comedy. One guy was he's a comedian. You know all these people who make skits yeah, on yeah um, social media. Mm -hmm. He was like, hmm. Like he was he was actually oh, thinking I, 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 I saw him. I forgot his name. Yeah. I saw it too. We have to recite our for Surah Subhan if you don't know it. Forget you are not good. And there is no even hajj for any one of you. If you want to get her, you, maybe you should get just get it, getting prepared to read the whole Quran. You know, he was saying it's funny. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's, it's close to me. I was like, how, how are people going to survive? Because even before the Ramadan starts, people are really complaining. Yeah. And I don't know for, for, for other country, but oh, it's in all, Nigeria, it's all, all the the it's all over. You know, the price, price goes up over there. And the price goes up to here too. Like groceries is expensive. You go to groceries to buy, mm -hmm. say, maybe like four things, you'll be paying like $40. And that's about, like, maybe about $30 in like Nigerian Naira. Like just four things. So four things. Like, wow. how come? So, so it's like, how are people going, really going to survive this? Because the value of the money has depreciated and things the prices of things are really going up yeah so even to survive in the house i mean in people you know when you go out and you see sometimes you feel like probably you are no we are not well off and when you still hear other people's story and you still put your own you will not even be you will not be able to say your own yeah, <laughs> outside yeah, that's, just, true. that's true that's so, true I felt like, oh my, the, the comedy really got to me. I was like, oh yeah, yeah like, how are people going to survive during this show? Yeah. Like, it's not possible to just fast on empty stomach from morning till evening and then the evening you don't have something substantial to eat. Yeah. So, and, you know, to my surprise, things were really, really uh, abundant during this show. Wow. I, I must tell you. Like that. Was, I'm, really, I'm really glad. But you see, I mean, apart from the government policy, but actually we know that the policy is not going to, is not going to get to anywhere, mm -hmm. and it's actually small compared to the population of the country. But actually, it's 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 got to some people. Yeah. Even though we have some correct politicians who sat on the policies and 
Yeah. People, even non-Muslims, standing up and giving food to people. Like, it's caused me a meal. Allah like, is really, really merciful. Mm -hmm. With um, someone, was day before yesterday. So the woman was now telling me, we were talking about the situation of the country. I'm mm -hmm. probably doing, I mean, how the, the things they're in is getting nearer and things like that. So mm -hmm. the woman had to confine me, like, when we were about to start Ramadan, that they don't even have a cup of rice in their house. And now they have full stuff to the extent that they will still do, do zakat to the free tree. Wow. From the food stuff they have. Wow. They do not even buy anything. Wow. I was like, how did you come by? <laughs> how did you do it? He said, people were just giving them some. Even people, they have never given them something before. They were just gifting them. And you know, as human beings, you see the way we were thinking before the Ramadan starts. And so, uh, one lesson I learned from that is sometimes you might be thinking, thinking in certain direction. And I will say no. Yeah. This is my plan. I think that's the second lesson I learned from this year's Ramadan because I think it is very important to discuss this. this, discuss this. And another thing is, you know, Allah says in the Quran, like, now you can live Allah on Allah is yeah. not going to place upon you what you yeah. don't have power yeah. upon. Yeah. So, you know. He asks us to do something. We want you to do it, and he will still bless you. Like he will provide for you. Like whoever relies, relies on Allah, Allah is going to be enough for them. And that is how people are just, I mean, staying. And so things are really, really. I don't know if it's still going to continue. Insha Allah, continue. Insha Allah, continue. We need it. We need it. Like Ramadan, we think it's nice. It's the, 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 the dollar that is rising, and yeah. then our narrative, our currency starts started, I mean, appreciating again. Yeah. So, I mean, the range of which these changes are, this is okay. It's not up to a month. Yeah. So it goes me amazed. Like Allah is really, really merciful, and He He never ceases to amaze human beings. Yeah. So, his power is beyond our thinking. Something we never imagined would happen within a year or more. Oh, yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then another thing is, if Allah is giving us certain, it doesn't mean that we are entitled to it. Yeah. <laughs> you can decide to, you can decide to take those things away from me and give mm -hmm. it to another person. Mm -hmm. It's, it can just do and undo. Honestly, Allah is really, really grateful. Mm -hmm. I can't know. I don't even know what to, what to say. He's graceful. He's merciful. Is powerful at yeah. the same time, like it's everything. And then, everything. Although we have known that before, but yeah. this year's Ramadan actually is a kind of testimony, yeah. I mean, real testimony that yeah. everyone can confirm, yeah. You know, we can just say a lot is powerful. Sometimes mm -hmm. some people might not even know them, yeah. Exactly. But the way you see things, things on your own, like the way it does things, like, oh my gosh, this is really practical and it is real, mm -hmm. something you can identify, I mean, you can relate with. Practically, yeah. so everybody is just like we just thank Allah that may this blessing continue. Yeah. For, yeah. Unfortunately, I, Ramadan is going. No, no, unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, yeah. fortunately, I mean, Ramadan is going, <laughs> but it's another start of like you know? yeah. they say during the time of prophets when the uh, Ramadan is going like this, they'll be crying and they'll be yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> we are laughing, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was people praying that they should see Christians today so that we can. So I just hope that this blessing continues. Inshallah. See, nice. beyond yeah. Ramadan. Mm -hmm. This is really, really yeah. um amazing. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, it amazing. is so, like I I hope that I will be able to reflect more about like the things mm -hmm. that happened to me. Last Ramadan. I re I think I read the the Quran up to Surah to Maida. Yeah. I read the Quran up to Surah to Maida like during the Ramadan and I finished um the rest chapters after Ramadan. This this Ramadan, like I started it, but I haven't like I think maybe I've completed three to four Jews. I think I completed three Jews. Yeah. And I was in school, I was working. And of course, that will like account to like the time that I have for my for Quran. So understandably, <laughs> so I understand that that yes, I was working, I was in school, but at the same time, I was like, okay, what if I wasn't in school? I I still feel like I should be able to like do more, but I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't under, I, I didn't abandon it, and I didn't abandon my. Um, prayer hopefully I hope I didn't have, I mean there are some times that I couldn't make the time 
because of course I was out. And you know that is another thing. Like if you live like in the Western space, sometimes you are outside. You want to you want to pray. You don't have any way to pray. And like even if you do, even if you do, you feel so self conscious. Like they say, you can you can you can take a corner anywhere is a prayer space except the washroom, of course. You pick a spot in my school and pray. But I would be so very self conscious. Even sometimes I was so self self conscious. Sometimes that I sit on the chair. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, because I sit I sat on the chair because I want to pray. So if I'm standing, people will obviously obviously notice. But if I'm sitting, it's less noticeable. Listen. Like I pray that Allah forgive me because of course there was nothing wrong with my leg. But I really want to pray. I didn't want to miss the time, and you know I only mm. have like. It may be 30 minutes between class and work. So, and you know, like, uh, Allah knows the best. Like, I I really pray that Allah, like, forgive me for that. But, like, if I stand, I'll be so self-conscious. I won't focus really. Like, I'll be like, oh, my God, when people will see me. And, you know, sometimes when people see you, even when you're standing and praying like that, People like come to you and they come like to your face and be like, Oh, are you okay? Like, what, what, what is she doing? What is he doing? Like, it has happened before. I was praying, like, I think I'm at work and like one of my co workers were practicing, passing by. I was like, Oh, is she okay? They were talking to me. Like, I, like, I felt like I want to break my prayer so I could like tell them that I'm okay. I'm just praying. But like, I couldn't. Sometimes, I mean, like, I think one uh, one time I had... Have you ever seen someone praying before? What? No. You have not seen someone praying before? You know, like, unless, like, they are immigrants and maybe they know that, maybe they are neighbors or, like, they also come from Muslim society, they know that, like, they will know that. But, like, since it's mm-hmm. predominantly not a Muslim country, if you are doing that, um, people will be like, what is she doing? Like, this is weird. Like, what is she doing? Or what is he doing? That's what. It is. So they will come to you and they will be like, oh, what? Is, uh, like, they will start talking to you. Like, they don't understand, like, you clapping or no, they don't understand that. <laughs> they want to make sure, like, are you okay? Is she okay? They are worried about you. Like, why would you be standing on a side just going up and down? Like, they are, they are worried Sorry. and concerned. Yeah, so, like the Muslim communities where there will be masjid and people oh, will go there to pray. You know, like you know, it's not like Nigeria where it's like I don't know, maybe there's like thousands of Niger- um masjid in Nigeria. Like in the town yeah. that I'm from, there's only like one mosque. One mosque that everybody go there to do like iftar dinner every Saturday. Like if you're in a bigger city, in a bigger city, maybe you have like maybe um maybe five you know, and you know, also like because it's also like uh, um, Canada or like US, they are like um, immigrants. There are a lot of immigrants there. So, like us, we have our own Nigeria Muslim society. So, maybe like some, maybe Ghanaians, they also have like Ghanaian Muslim society, Somalian Muslim society, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Palestinian Muslim yeah. society. And it goes on like that. That by the time you <laughs> By the time you count everything, you've had like maybe um like a community space that they also use for as a masjid, you know. So those mm-hmm. things like that. We like and that's in like a bigger city. But in the smaller town that I am, like it's only one mosque. You know, and we all go there because how many of us are there? Maybe maybe about hundred, or maybe we're not even up to hundred. And we all mm-hmm. like, come together like that. But if you're in a bigger city, you have Every country on the on the face on the map, they have their own Muslim society. So you have Gadigans <laughs> like that, and then you have like bigger mosque like that that people they use for function and as a masjid. So that's how mm-hmm. Ramadan has been for me, and Alhamdulillah, I wish that I could have done more for like reading the Quran. But Alhamdulillah, for how it had went. Um, there's success in some parts and there we just need to like keep trying and continue mm-hmm. to work more on it. So basically that's my Ramadan. That is my Ramadan. <laughs> I don't know how did you finish the Quran? Me? <laughs> First, I uh, I fell sick. Oh I didn't tell you. Oh okay. Sorry. 
I'm sick physically. Oh, and yeah. honestly, I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do much. I couldn't do much during this Ramadan. It happened to, to the best of us. Yeah. yeah, I think it happens to everybody. To and to the best of us. Because I have to be honest. I'm in the Quran like two or three times. Mm-hmm. So when I started, um, I mean, the, I mean, child rearing and yeah. then, mm-hmm. it's not really it. But at least I will just make sure I finish two one, no matter what. This year, hmm. let me say the number of pages I read. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know like like that was what i was saying like i was in school i was also working and so it's not and even my had you i uh I, I just make sure like i just have to do it i just yeah. it's not really oh yeah me i mean too. consistent it's i mean it's consistent it's, certain, like, like, it's mm-hmm. every day i do it every day but not as in the previous years compared to the way allah blessed blessed us yes. in this country yeah <laughs> yeah so so that's just just to tell us that even if I like give you something, it's, it just give you for his, in his own way, not because we are righteous. So I don't know if she's coming back. I have something to add. This is the last part of like what we yeah. learned this Ramadan or how has Ramadan been. So I was hoping that after you, then she can comment too, and we can yeah. say Alhamdulillah. I don't know. I really don't know if it's going to be um, today is going to be the last fast or tomorrow but either way <laughs> you don't mean you in advance alhamdulillah <laughs> it's it alhamdulillah we are part of those who could who will be able to go this yes, far so, yes. because you know <laughs> oh my goodness i'm not sure this guy is coming back right okay but i message her but i guess we can we can both conclude okay so what do we I want to add? I mean, like we talk about hijab, feminism, <laughs> and feminine energy, and uh, uh, what we learn and how this Ramadan was. So yeah. thank you, Hera, for coming. Like us, girl. Thank <laughs> My heart is for me. Allah continue to increase you, to bless you, bless your family, and may we see each other like soon. Like either yes, Zoom yes. or like physical, I would love it to happen. And like, Allah will make it uh, yeah, Allah will make it possible for us and like accept our Ramadan, our fasting, all our yes. our efforts. Mm-hmm. May Allah put barakah in there for us. I mean, thank you, Jazakallah, Hara. And for Rama, yeah. Rama just left us like that. You know, I was asking yes. her when we, because it was Somebody. when we, when you left or when you were on, on mute. Um, I was asking her to add something, but then she was like, "I didn't, I didn't have anything to add." So I was hoping that when you like talk, then we can both <laughs> add something. But yes. Alhamdulillah for how we went. Yes. I was, I mean, so next we time. came on, so I'm glad for that. Hopefully, we can do this more often. <laughs> but it's, it has always been yeah. like a dance something for us. So and Alhamdulillah, it's a way that I try to like catch up with my friends because i know i don't call me me i'm just like testing person so this way i i I, yeah. should, I know that i'm keeping contact in a way so alhamdulillah for that and i'm grateful that you're all we're always honoring this 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 meeting thank you so uh, much and thank you for bringing yeah. ramat to <laughs> So I want to conclude this talk with my monologue. Okay, so I want to I say something? Men want a feminine woman in this era with price shooting up. And like our world in chaos. But anyway, somebody go and handle that for today. And I have to I got to see my friends, so you can see, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm blushing or like I'm smiling more. So, go find your friends. Okay. And if you want to watch the things, you can subscribe. So, like, it's the 29th of Ramadan. So, we can back in advance. I don't know if we're going to fast another one more day, but it's going to be at. It's tomorrow, but either way, it's Mubarak. 
may Allah bless you, bless your family, guide you, guide your family, and accept the Ramadan from you, put Barakah in, in your efforts, in all our efforts, and have a good day tomorrow or next tomorrow. Have a lovely Eid, Eid and Barak, Ramadan Barak, Eid the Karen, right? Eid the Karen. It's Aisha signing.